In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way to create black and white in Lightroom. You can also do this in Camera Raw. But there's one slider which is probably the least expected slider that makes a huge difference. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I've got this quick tip. I'm going to show you how to convert a color photo to black and white inside of Lightroom Classic and there's this one slider that really does make a big difference. Uh, let's have a look at the workflow right now. So here we are, we're just going to jump into the develop module. There's a photograph here that I shot in Nelson, Nevada during a uh, workshop at NAB. And what we want to do is convert this from color to black and white. So the first place you're going to go is here and we're going to click on black and white. Now to adjust this black and white, what happens is we're going to go down here and we're going to make these adjustments. But before we do, here's a surprising thing you might not think of. And that's actually to go up to the color temperature and adjust that. And watch what happens when I do. See what a big difference we can get just by playing around with this color temperature. And what it does is it just works with our underlying colors and it just enables us to get a different kind of a, a change here. And we're also going to do the tint. And notice how we've got some nice tones going on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go under the individual color tones. And we can go here and we can play around with these sliders or we can just click this little tool here which is really nice and we can go over the certain areas such as this truck and we can lighten or darken those particular tones let me put that tone to about here and let's grab the blue in the sky let's darken that just a little bit and we've got these rocks here we can lighten or darken those notice it's also affecting the truck or parts of the truck because of those similar colors in there now, if we go into the bushes here where we've got, you know, trees and things which are green, notice how that's going to change a little bit differently. So I'm going to put a little bit of a silhouette on that. Okay, now we've adjusted our tones. Let's go over down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for detail. I'm going to open up my shadows a little bit. Now, the reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to restore just a little bit of detail up here. And I'm going to recover my highlights. Excellent. And now the last step we want to add is contrast. So a lot of people when they do black and whites, they like to really push these blacks quite hard. So that's entirely up to you how far you want to push those blacks. And same thing with the whites, we give those a little bit of a push. So what we're doing is we're looking to just kind of give it that full contrast there. So it's as simple as that. So I have a question for you. Did you ever think of moving the temperature slider when you're doing your black and white adjustments. And by the way, it also works in Camera Raw as well as it does here in Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC. And if you like these kind of tutorials, become part of the Cafe Crew. Hit the subscribe button right now and also that little notification bell so you'll know when I upload new tutorials, which is every single week. So anyway, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.